Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome to the PWA, the prophetic word of the day. We are so glad that you've joined in with us. If this is your first time joining on with us, I am Davey Brooks and this is my husband, Chris Brooks. You can find out more about our ministry at chrisbrooksministries.com. For those of you that are regulars um, and those of you that are even newcomers joining on with us today, we have so much to tell you. My percentage is low on here, so I'm about to start sharing and tagging. So if you want oh, to tell Oh, don't you do yes. that. Nope, nope, nope. You're yep. not going to do that. You're not going to throw it at me and say, hey, you do this. Because nope, nope, nope. Then I'm not going to nope. be able to get it shared. She throws it at me all the time. <laughs> and didn't tell me she was going to do it. So she's like, you just start telling them what everything that happened last I night. I mean, God did so much. We shared phenomenal. about it on our page. You um, need to go look at the videos that we put out. See, now you're ready to tell them. Well, I'm just saying, we need to, you need to look at the videos and the pictures that we just put out. Last night, um, Let Us Worship Chattanooga with Sean Foyt was phenomenal. Um, the pastors that were there, the people that were there. Oh, we cannot thank all I mean, the volunteers. We had like 150 volunteers. We sent out the videos. We had close five, to, seven churches. Well, over 2,000 people showed up. We were there running buses to get them in there. And crazy thing is, they are extending. It is yes. going another night. We got a contact this morning at about 7.45 that people flew in last from night from California, a part of Sean's team. People um, were saying they watched it. So you saw the man that got up out of the wheelchair last night. We were standing right there next to him. We began to pray for this man, and the man was in one of those powered wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. He could only stand barely to go to the restroom for the past six months. He would have to have help. But this man yes. got up, started dancing, walked up on the stage, was still drooling a little and was still unable to speak. I mean, he could speak, but yeah. I'm talking when this man got up and started dancing and they started walking up on the stage, it went crazy. Then a young woman that had a tumor that was actually bulging oh, out of her head. It, it fell gone. off. It was it's just gone. It didn't fall off because we'd have found no, it. No, it just disappeared. It was gone. Um, what an incredible time. And the, the, the just, it's so awesome that God gave us the opportunity to host this thing. Now, we weren't the host. We were the overseer of it. And we were the one that got everything rolling. Um, Chris Brooks Ministries did. And man, my God. Gosh, it was phenomenal. We actually event coordinated. There you go. I didn't know the word to say. Yeah, event coordinated. we got a call from Eddie James about three weeks ago, who's a personal friend of ours, who said, Sean Foyt wants to come to Chattanooga, and we need for someone to assimilate this event for us. And so Chris Brooks Ministries picked it up, and we've got so many incredible churches that partnered with sure. us. Well, first of all, it's at Metro Tap. So thank you awesome. so much, Pastor, Pastor Steve, Steve and, and Rita yeah. Ball. And then we have Freedom Church, Nathan and Emily Garmony. We have Living Faith Church, mm. Michael and Nicole Linden. Thank you so much. We have representation from Cleveland, Tennessee at the Ramp Church Cleveland um, with Josh and Morgan Morris, who are the youth pastors there and some personal friends of ours. And then we had Jamie Tuttle come in last night and his daughter Kaylee Tuttle. Mm -hmm. That was incredible. There were a couple of other pastors that are friends. Pastor Kevin Wallace from Redemption to the Nations, which is our home church. Um, and then there were a couple of other pastors there that Sean knew that yeah. I wasn't familiar. I'd never met them before. But then Dr. Charles came in oh from Minneapolis, what who a is a God. senior pastor out there. Incredible. We had pastors from Mexico yeah. who were there there's last people night. From everywhere. I mean, if you Michigan, were... Chicago. Um, oh, yeah, people Chicago. People coming in from everywhere. So we're just declaring that tonight is going to be that night of just complete and utter glory. So if you're in the area or can get here, I would get here. It starts at 7 Eastern time. If not, be praying for us. You can watch it online. Uh, don't make that a cop out. If you can come, it's better to be in the environment than watching it online. It's pretty cool. Oh my but gosh, when it you're was so in amazing. It, it's amazing. So what an Easter Sunday. Last year, this time we were under the house. Tornadoes. This day, last year, we were helping people get out of their homes. We were oh my running gosh, chainsaws. I forgot about that. We were cutting down trees getting them off houses and cars and people were displaced all over the city. It looked like a it looked like a desert land because of what had happened. Mm -hmm. And here we are one year later and God drops his spirit in this place with just power last night. People got saved. We got did you get the baptism videos? Yep, I got so that too. So we got too. people getting baptized out there which was cold. Um, it was so it was wonderful. Phenomenal. Ah, well and, and I and I want to say this that there was such an authentic, humble sovereign spirit of yeah. God that just drenched the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, it wasn't about 
the people ministering or the churches that were partnered with us. It was about God being famous Amen. amongst his people. And I'm telling you, if you are anywhere within an hour to two hour driving radius, I mean, here. people came from Atlanta last night. Yeah. You That's have got hours. to get here tonight, seven o'clock. I am not sure the details. We're going to be posting more information on our page, um, our social media pages as the day progresses. Um, but I'm not sure if there's going to be parking or not. So just get here. There is the Coca-Cola plant is right next, right next door, door to the actual church. So I think we might have some parking available it's there. Like four to six hundred parking spots, I think. So, um, are you so might, it's a carpool. <laughs> you Don't definitely come by need, yourself. You definitely need a carpool. All right. Praise the Lord, man. It was awesome. Uh, we got in at one o'clock. Oh, I'm so sorry. But praise the Lord, and we're getting ready to go again tonight. If you're ready for the PWAD, tell me right here. I'm ready for the prophetic word of the day. Amen. We're going to be at Romans chapter 6, verse 16. One scripture here that the Lord has put on my heart to share with you guys um, this morning. So, also, I want to say this. Thank you to all of our partners. Because if it wasn't for partners, we would not be able to do what we're doing right now. This is sustaining and taking care so that we can run these revivals, do these things here and man, what and be a, a part of community revival. You are to us, and we thank you for it. Okay, Romans six sixteen says, "Do you not know that to whom you present yourself slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness?" I want to talk to you today about obedience. We know that the scripture says that obedience is better than sacrifice; that you can't sacrifice enough for the Lord. Amen. But you can be obedient for through your obedience of listening to what the Lord is saying. This is what God is looking for. He's looking for obedience. The scripture up here says, do you not know that to whom you are present or present, excuse me, who you present yourselves. The word present means to cause to come to stand beside. Mm -hmm. So if you think of it this way, whomever you cause to stand beside you are joining yourself with the one you are standing with. That's so good. It literally means that you are in agreement with whom is beside you and hand in hand. So it's, a, it's, a, it's like a marriage. When a husband and wife come together and they stand hand in hand and they hold hands and, they, const and they, they, they come together and they give their vows and they speak mm -hmm. about what they are doing and they come together in front of God and man and they say, we are doing this, you know, this union, this covenant, the same thing here happens through our obedience. Whomever you come next to, whoever you come alongside and go hand in hand, you have now come into what's your smile. About? No, I mean, what's that saying? And I can't think of it right this second, but y'all help me. What's that saying that you are perceived by who you know? Like you're judged by who you know. I mean, it's kind of like a, a worldly statement, but who you're standing next to matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's a reflection yeah. of really your character, your integrity. Yeah, well, who you're hanging out with is yes. who you are, pretty much. Birds of a feather flock together. That's one of them. That's one of the um, statements. So we look at this. If we're standing hand-to-hand -hand in sin, I want mm -hmm. you to see this picture. That means you're standing side-by-side, mm -hmm. -side, shoulder to shoulder, and you have literally grasped the hand of sin... Because he says you have presented yourselves as a slave to them, which means that you have come together in this manner. Ooh. So now you are entangled. And watch this. That's what happens. When hands come together, they're entangled. Mm -hmm. So you are a slave to the one that you stand next to. You become subject to that thing. Non-believers, though, here's the thing about non-believers. They don't like being told to be a slave to anything. Mm -hmm. I'm free. Well, you're really not free. Mm -hmm. you're, you're really not walking in freedom, not knowing that you're not walking in freedom, but they, the, the, the deception of the enemy is to make you think that you are walking in freedom when really you are being led by the enemy because this is what it says, mm -hmm. that these things are leading you. That's good, Chris. So are you a slave to an idol? Is there an idol in your life that has all of your attention, that has, you have become a slave to that? Are you a slave to your passions? A slave to a desire? How about a slave to your belly? Does your belly run your life? Does your religion, what about being a slave to religion? Uh-oh. And then you have a slave to sin. The scripture says, do not do these things, but then be obedient 
and become a slave unto righteousness. That's so good. Even, even some Christians are like, I'm not going to be a slave. But you don't understand the mm -hmm. terminology of this slavery here or obedience. So look at what obedience is. Obedience means to comply with or follow the commands, restrictions, wishes, or instructions. Mm -hmm. With free will, we are complying with the Spirit saying that we submit to That's all so the things of God. Mm -hmm. And remember, whatever you say yes to, you become a slave to. Whoa, pause. I got to write that down. Whatever you say yes to, you become a slave to. Whatever you say. Okay. If you say yes to junk food and all you eat is junk food, you become a slave to the junk food. If you say yes to whatever it may be, money, you become a slave to money. Yes. Okay? We're not supposed to be slaves for money. Money is supposed to come to help. Yes. All right? We don't... The Bible says that... What, well, actually, it's all said money at the answer of all things. Meaning this, that we're a slave unto righteousness and we have become obedient to the Father God and the Lord provides all that we need. Yes. And pours out even more. Slaves to righteousness is freedom from bondage. Yes. When you become a slave to righteousness... You are free from bondage. I want my freedom. People say that all the time. Mm -hmm. I want my freedom. But then they do this with something else other than God. Because this is so good. they think they're walking in freedom, but now what they've done is entangled themselves into their own fleshly desire. They've become a slave to that sin. Now when the sin says, I'm hungry, go get a burger, you don't even think, you react. I want this, you don't even think, you react. Well, guess what? The same thing happens That's in right. the spirit. If you are an obedient child of God to the spirit and Woo! to the Lord, now, whenever the Lord says something, oh. you don't even think. Okay, let me, let, me give you, let me tell you something oh. that happened last oh. night. I, I just paused. Can I tell you? No, no, what no, are no, you no, saying no, no, yes no. to me? I want to tell you something that happened last night on obedience. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. This happened to me. Last night, we were at the, the uh, Let Us Worship event, the conference. I don't like calling it an event. And pastors were sitting on the back, and gathering. I was gathering. gathering. And I was picking stuff up, and underneath the chair was a $100 bill. And I grabbed that $100 bill because I was running to go get water. I put it in my pocket, and I didn't know what it was at first, and I just grabbed it, put it in my pocket, and, and ran to go get water, bringing water back for the pastors. And as I'm walking back, the Lord said, you got $100 in your pocket. And I pulled it out, and he goes, that's pastor so-and-so's and that's his offering if you keep that you're going to be disobedient and you're robbing him of his offering and you're going to have a curse on your finances because you're stealing yes and I, I knew who was sitting in that chair so i went up to him and said pastor did you drop this he goes yes i did he goes oh my gosh he goes he goes that must have fallen out of my pocket he said that's what i brought for the offering Yes, come on. And he said this to me. He goes, do you need it? I said, no, 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 no. This is yours. You put that in the offering. But see, I heard the Lord. What Some people would say, oh my God, I just found a $100 bill. Mm -hmm. Cha-ching! Come on now. But I'm like, I know who was sitting in that chair. That's their money. Mm -hmm. If I hold yes. on, if I keep this for myself... The Holy Ghost said, there'll be a curse on your finances if you hold on to what's not yours. Well, it wasn't and even a I question. I took it to him immediately. It wasn't I even said, a question. you drop this. Did you, I said, this is yours. Yes. That's obedience. And it's integrity. And it's integrity. Mm -hmm. That's freedom. It's freedom from secret and regrets. Yes. How, oh my God, if I would have kept that secret, nobody would have known it was me. But God would have And known. then woke up this morning. What a regret I would mm -hmm. have knowing that I just took money yep. from somebody. Are you hearing me? Yes. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is key. Because your obedience is going to lead to righteousness. So you need to choose today who is your leader. Who are you following? The obedience of sin that leads to death yeah. but the obedience of righteousness. Amen. Now here's what it says. This obedience is leading you to righteousness. Come on. 
So you are being led. Like Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. You're not being led to be tempted. You're being led by the Holy Spirit to become righteous. So who's leading you today? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Who's leading you today? Come on. Give the Lord praise. Who is leading? Are you walking in obedience? Today. I know that was what, 15 minutes? I don't, these are short, but by God, they're powerful. Amen. It's just, who's leading you today? Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I hope somebody yes. needed this word today. If you needed it, just put over here and say, man, I needed this word. There's some things I got to get straight. Now, here's what we're going to do. You need to get some stuff lined up. What are some things that you know right now i got to get lined out with the Lord. Yes. Have I been disobedient? Amen. Have I done what Chris said? Have I picked up the money, put it in my pocket, and walked on? Hey, integrity. And the Lord said, that's not yours. Give it back. Mm -hmm. But you thought, hey, they dropped it. Mm -hmm. It's mine. And that's not just the big part. That's just one small, very, very small part of this. But the big picture is the fact that, hey, mm -hmm. where's your obedience lying? It's lying with somebody. And whomever it's lying with, whoever you are setting yourself up with, that is who you follow. You know, I remember Helen Anderson, which was a Bible study teacher that we had whenever we first got saved. Mm -hmm. She taught us very early on that whenever you go to a, um, and I'm speaking about obedience and integrity, that whenever you go to a Walmart or a grocery store. Oh, yeah, I love this. If you don't put your shopping cart back in the little container that holds your shopping cart, that really says a lot about who you wow. are. Wow. Because if, I remember you just, that. if you just leave it next to your car, you're saying, you know what? They have somebody that that's their job. I don't care. I don't what, care if it dings another car, I don't care if it yeah. hits another vehicle. It's not hitting mine. There's so much integrity. It shows you integrity. Too lazy to walk oh, it yeah. down there. If you leave the shopping that cart. So, that was one of those things. She goes, she goes, oh my gosh, I remember that right now. Do and you remember I, that? And I said, I will, I'll never leave a shopping oh, cart. Oh, we never. That has been 20 years ago. And we I'll never, never leave, leave a, shopping, a cart. shopping cart. I have, I'm so convicted. Like, okay, so there's been moments when it's raining. And I'm like, okay, it's going to be fine this one time. And then I'm like, I can't. You know, it's obedience. I can't breathe. That's It's obedience. <laughs> and people look at it and go, oh, it's no big deal. It's Somebody's just a shopping here. cart. Last night, oh, here's another thing. Here's another thing. Here's another thing about obedience. Last night, we're, I'm, I'm packing up all of the Sean Foyt uh, product, which, dear God, a lot of product. And we're having to walk it into this room, me and two other guys. I'm talking, we're just sweating, yes. and it's 40 degrees outside, and we're sweating because we're moving back and forth. And I keep stepping over this napkin. And I step over this napkin, I step over this napkin, I step over this napkin, and then I put my last box down, I turn around, and I said, enough is enough, and I reach down, not now, not doing an update, I reach down, and I grab the napkin like this, and I walk it over, put it in a trash bag, and then I see trash all over the ground, and I just start picking up trash. Yes. Nobody asked me. Yes. Nobody instructed it. It was not per se it his It was job. the Lord. It wasn't my responsibility at that mm -hmm. moment, but it was the Lord saying, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do for this run? What are you going to do? Yeah. Are you just going to walk off? Are you done? Mm -hmm. He goes, you have, he said, Chris, by you picking up this trash right now, you're being obedient to me. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We have a prayer request that just came in. Um, I saw it, but I couldn't read it all. Pray for a child in my daughter's class. I guess her daughter's a teacher. His name is Preston. He's a fourth grader. He has a rare side effect from COVID um, that's... Life-threatening right now, um, so we pray for this young man. What's his name? Um, she doesn't have his name. Okay, He's a part fine. of Bridget Davis's daughter's Father, class. Father, we declare this young man. You know exactly who he is. Healing power. I command healing come in Jesus' name. We speak in agreement, healed by faith. Yes. In Jesus' name, guys, go back to our our video that we posted right before we did this live. There was a man who had been in a wheelchair who has not walked for six months who got up and walked last night. Not only did he walk, but he was dancing around. His wife was going bananas 
we were actually, you guys, several of you, had to take this medical wheelchair and put it, it up heavy. on the platform. I pray for your back My today. God, You're going to have to go to the chiropractor. I said today. I'm going to the chiropractor. <laughs> it was heavy. But if God can do that, God can do anything. Cancer, for those of you that jumped on late, we said it at the beginning, there was a cancer tumor on a woman. Um, it was a knot. It was mm -hmm. knotted out. Um, and it completely disappeared last no night. No man got healed from... Um, Some sort of like traumatic epileptic epilep syndrome. Epilepsy. He said normally he goes if like lights, like the police lights or the stage lights, would, mm -hmm. I throw him into an epileptic fit. We know this person and he personally. Said he got we have healed. his contact He said, I don't feel nothing. He said, I can look right at the lights and nothing is happening. We had another young woman got uh, free from suicide. I mean, yes. there's a bunch of them. People getting filled with the Holy oh. Ghost. Baptiz yes. Baptizing them in troughs out there. Praise the God. Well, and then there was, uh, we heard a story, a testimony late last night that a little 12-year-old girl came down for deliverance from pornography. Come on. She got free from all the roots of pornography last Come night. On, 12 Jesus. years old. At 12. God is doing something and significant. Then I, got to, I had the privilege of praying. I think he was probably about 10 or 11, and this kid got baptized in the Holy Ghost. It was phenomenal. Um, to You're see about the, to say something the about adults. Men, the oh, yeah, men, the yeah, yeah. men coming down, getting free. Oh, my was gosh. was amazing. If you are close to the Chattanooga, Tennessee area within Hello. driving distance, I'm going to tell you that you need to get to Metro Tab Church. It is close to the airport. It's off of Shepherd Road. Um, the address is linked on our page. Um, you're going to want to get here. I'm not sure if we've got parking or not. Just show up and the attendants and, and the officers that are helping will, will direct you. Um, but the service starts at 7. You probably need to start arriving as soon as you can. Whenever you get off work, go through a fast food place. Get you some lawn chairs. Bring your fast food out to the parking lot. And let's see let's what God Lord. is going to do. Show them how to get connected. Um, yes, go to our website, chrisworksministries.com. Um, we want to encourage you that if you have not sowed a one-time donation or partnered with this kingdom assignment, do so today. All of our partners and those of you that bring um, a seed offering into this ministry is helping fuel what it is that we're doing for this kingdom Amen. assignment into our city and into our region. We and, have and into you right here and on into Facebook you. Live. We have volunteered with the Let Us Worship team to help facilitate this revival in our city and throughout our region. And your faithfulness in your prayers and in your financial support is helping us Amen. be able to say yes. Our yes is stewarding moves of God across this globe. Changing lives. And you get to be a part of it. All of that information is pinned on our page. It's chrisbrooksministries.com. Click the little three options up at the top of the site whenever it pulls up, and then you're going to see um, the platform show up with the icon that says Partner Donate. You can make a one-time donation or partner monthly. All of that information is on our site. Let's declare right now. I saw somebody about yes. a baby's heart. We declare that baby's oh, yes, heart I be healed that. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, By no, faith, we're praying. be healed in Jesus' yes. name. We declare right now that the glory of the Lord be upon you in everything that you say yes. and everything that you do. For you're the head, not the tail, above, not beneath. Blessed in the field and yes. blessed in the city. You will declare by your mouth yes. that I am blessed and highly favored, that you will prosper and be in health, that your spirit prospers. We declare no plague, no yes. pestilence, no tragedy come against you, though a thousand fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, it will not yes. come near your dwelling. I command health, peace, and the rest of the Father upon you. Yes. And remember always, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Y'all be Bye. blessed.